Here is a division problem perfect for solving using the long division method. The first thing we need to do is rewrite the equation for the long division method. I'm going to add four decimal places because I think the answer will go into decimals. Depending on the equation, you may choose to go to less or more decimals. This all depends on how much accuracy is required. 32 into 3 doesn't go, so we move along the line. 32 into 36 goes at least once. So we can write 1 above the 6. 32 times 1 equals 32. So 32 is written below 36. And now we have a sum to work out. So deduct 32 from 36. And this gives us 4. Next we carry 6 from the next column. And that completes the first step. From here on, it's a question of repetition until we find the answer. Step 2. 32 into 46 goes at least once. So we can write 1 above the 6. Then 1 times 32 is 32. So 32 goes under the 46. 46 minus 32 equals 14. So 14 goes under the 32. The final part of step 2 is to carry the 0. OK, so now I've shown the first two steps, we can see the repetition involved. So I'm going to go through the remaining steps a little quicker. Step 3. 32 into 140 goes at least four times. So we can write 4 above the first decimal place. 4 times 32 equals 128. So write 128 under 140. 140 minus 128 equals 12. Now we carry the zero. Step 4. 32 into 120 goes at least three times. So we can write 3 above the second zero. 3 times 32 equals 96. So write 96 under 120. 120 minus 96 equals 24. Carry the zero. Now we move on to step 5. 32 into 240 goes at least 7 times. So we can write 7 above the third zero. 7 times 32 equals 224. So write 224 under 240. 240 minus 224 equals 16. Carry the zero. 32 into 160 goes five times exactly. So we can write five above the final zero. Five times 32 equals 160. So write 160 under 160. 160 minus 160 equals zero. At this point, we could keep carrying over zeros without finding a figure that 32 will go into. So the answer is complete. So 366 over 32 equals 11.4375.